Hi, Macy here. In this video, I am going to show you how to integrate the AdMob onto Unity iOS. We are going to use the existing AdMob Unity plugin created by Google. It is very, very complete and very stable. We're just going to start from downloading the iOS AdMob SDK and the plugin made by Google and also the example scene they have. So now I am on the AdMob Unity plugin Git repository. I will share the link at the description down below. On the page, it tells you all the documentation of how to actually implement the plugin. So let's just clone it. Let's open terminal. Just go to the folder you would like to put your project. I usually put in my project folder. Project, yeah. And then here is git clone and just paste the git path we have copied. Just enter. So now the project is downloaded. It's very quick. Just from here, the readme file actually tells us what we need to do. So if we go into Unity, so here you can see for iOS setup, we actually need to have the Google Mobile Ads iOS SDK library. So let's go find it. So just download the zip file. So now let's open our project in Unity. Just open Unity. File. Open project. Let's go find the project here. So click open other. Because I've previously opened some other project before and you find the folder I have saved my example. So here I'm going to project. I remember it was called Google something. So samples. This is the one. Unity samples. This folder you could open Hello World and just open this up. Oh, now it is loaded. Go to asset folder, go to the main scene. You will see you have some errors because we have not imported the items. So let's just open the folder. You can see the source, assets, plugins. Just copy, drag those two folders into the assets folder. All the code that's included in the plugins folder will be bring over to the native build. For example, the iOS folder, all the code in this folder will be bring over to the Xcode. So one more thing, let's remember we have just downloaded the SDK. So I just gonna put it on the desktop This is it. I just copy everything over, put it in the iOS folder. Okay, seems like everything was working. Just press the main camera. Seems like the script is missing. Let's go to the assets folder. Just drag the Google Mobile Ad demo script to here. Now everything is working. Just save the scene. Before we actually run the project, we need to make sure we modify the demo script. Just click the wheel and click edit script. 
So there are a few things we need to add in here. So here we need to put the add union ID where you get it from AdMob. Let's go to AdMob. Here find click monetize tab. I have already created some testings. So let's go AdMob iOS test. So just copy the ID. So we just need to paste the ID at the request banner because ID was for the iPhone banner. So just paste it here. You see we still have another field for Android. And if we want interstitial, we just copy the one I created. Let's go back and paste the ID at here. Now, just save it. We are pretty much ready to go. Let's go to Unity, File, Build Settings. What I have done is I have clicked the Add Current to add the current scene into the build. Then just click Build. Now we are in Xcode with the compiled project. This is not done yet. We still need to link libraries. So select the project folder, click on build phrases. In this tab called link binary with libraries, we need to make sure all the libraries on this list are being added. So let's start with add support audio to box AV foundation framework core add message UI framework Store kit system configuration framework. Then we need to add a linker flag. So into build settings in linker flags and other linker flags. Double click. We just add one more dash capital O B J capital C. Oh, we should be ready to go. Save mm. this and let's just build and run the application. Now my project is completed. It's, you can see here, it's on my tablet. Just open it. So those are the options. I just request the banner. And now we have a banner showing up here. Thing doing is hide, click hide, it's hidden, and then show interest show. Now it's showing. Well, everything works. Hopefully, at this time, you have the AdMob running successfully on your games. And if you would like to see the AdMob Unity Android tutorials, please comment at this video, then I will for sure make one. Have a great day. Bye.